Hey guys, Johnny here from Ecomex SEO. G'day from Australia. Uh, just want to show you something today. Uh, we had some interesting bot traffic come into one of our Shopify stores and just want to talk to you about what it is and how we dealt with it. Just quickly though, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, get access and notifications when new videos come out. And also you can head on over to our free Facebook group, link in the description below, uh, sign up there or apply to, to join and there's plenty of great content in there um, every day. So this is interesting. Sometimes this happens where uh, you'll get bot traffic started coming into your site. So notice this firstly on our um, on our Shopify analytics and it just was coming in as direct traffic and and you can see here uh, between the 24th um, and the 25th of March this year um, there was an increase in that traffic and, and I've just filtered this for this particular traffic. You can see here this is actually where the traffic came from. So this is just that, that bot traffic and it was coming in and then it, it hit a peak of around 50 a day and you can see here now it's stopped. So we've actually stopped that bot traffic coming in. And you can see it was coming from this URL here, uh, bot traffic for free dot host. Who knows why um, people create these bot traffic. A lot of it can be um, for data mining and scraping, etc. cetera. Um, but it can mess with your analytics, but it has other issues. So for example, this site we were running, uh, we are running Facebook ads. Um, so obviously we have a pixel in the store. So when you start getting bot traffic coming in, there's that risk that you're gonna mess with your, with your pixel. And if we're running retargeting traffic and then uh, Facebook is actually then using that traffic uh, to optimize the pixel, you're gonna run into uh, problems there. Then the other reason, other issue is obviously with the organic traffic that's coming in, it can affect your your bounce rate and your ses sessions on page. Interestingly, this bot traffic comes in and the bounce rate's actually quite low and there is a, a high page duration, but or high session duration, but it's low quality non, uh, it's coming from other countries as well. So this this site is, is uh, relevant to Australia. So this bot traffic is coming from uh, mainly the US uh, and so it's just messing with uh, everything that's happening with our site. So we're not getting any purchases, obviously, because it's bot traffic and um, just just not good. Uh, Google understands that it's low quality traffic and it's just not going to help. So we need to nip it in the bud pretty quick. And that's what we've done. Uh, so generally with a, say, for example, if you have a WordPress site where you actually uh, have access to your host and your servers, it's very easy. You can go and actually block the, the bot um, in your HD access file. With Shopify, obviously we don't have that luxury. So uh, we, we don't have access to the server. Um, and as I was sort of, uh, we've dealt with this before, but I just wanted to see whether Shopify had actually done anything about it. And at this point, it doesn't seem like they've done anything about it on their side. Uh, you, there's not, the only way that you can kind of deal with it is use, and there's a couple of apps out there. Unfortunately, they are paid. Uh, but the one I'm, this one we're using which I'll show you in a second, has a 14-day free trial. So what I've done is actually uh, just signed up for the 14-day free trial, uh, see how things happen. It obviously seems to have stopped that traffic coming in, um, and then we will uh, decide what we do after that, if it's worthwhile continuing to pay for it, uh, or we'll remove it and see if that bot traffic comes back. Um, we have some WordPress sites that have got similar issues where bot traffic has come in as well. So uh, obviously there's a bit of that going around at the moment. So the app that we installed um, was just called Traffic Guard. So you can see it's $9 a month, um, but there's that 14 uh, day free trial. So here it is installed here and the settings are pretty simple. All you do is um, you read any traffic that comes in from this particular bot, you redirect it back to wherever you want. And we've just redirected, the default it redirects back to Google. So uh, if the traffic comes in, it hits the, uh, uh, the site and if it's from that particular site, it'll redirect it back to Google so it doesn't actually register um, as a user on our store. So you, it's an edit section here and what you do is you add in the IP address. Um, so the way we found that was Google Analytics doesn't give you the IP data. So grab that URL and then just came, come to go to Google and then just, uh, we'll just type in check site IP and you have all these IP checkers here. Um, so maybe we'll just use this one here. Generally they, and I, I do usually check a couple of them just to make sure that it, uh, you get the same, uh, the, the actual same IP. Uh, we put the URL in there and find website IP. 
and it should pull back the one that we've actually been using. Okay, so it's pulled back the IP address. Um, so there it is there, and you can see that that is the IP we actually put in our uh, in our traffic guard app here. And so this actually does work. So you can see that it stopped the traffic here. Um, we installed it, I think, on Saturday, and it's actually stopped that traffic coming in. Um, the issue comes when sometimes these bots use a, a, a many, many different IPs, um, so they can keep coming back. But we'll just see what this one does now, see whether it comes back or not, uh, and again, decide whether we're going to continue to use the app uh, or not. And interestingly, on this store, um, sales dropped quite a bit uh, over these three days. Um, and wasn't really didn't really have much of an idea why that was happening and then we actually when we looked at this um, we figured this could be could be causing issues and actually sales have picked up again um, in the last two days so uh, could be a could be coincidence but certainly makes sense that this was one of the reasons so it's really important you you do make sure you have your analytics set up and you monitor and when you see some weird stuff like this coming in you need to sort of deal with it okay hope that makes sense and can be helpful to anybody that's seeing uh, any bot traffic that's coming in um, when you check the URL, um, it's actually in, if you go to all traffic, then sources medium, and you'll you'll find any bot traffic or direct traffic in there, and it should show you the URL. Uh, and that's a workaround if you can't find the IP, that you just go and uh, find it using the uh, the URL that, they, that the bot traffic or analytics picks up for it. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Catch you later on.